Choose your fighter. Lightning in fire. Fight. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Now you're probably like me, like I was I was literally in your shoes. I was looking on YouTube trying to figure out if I should buy this controller. Now you probably clicked on the video because you already bought the controller and you just want to see if you made a good purchase and like praise your accomplishments with me. But you could be another person who's looking to buy this controller because there's a huge sale going on with Scuff right now since the Christmas time. There's a Christmas sales, there's like the New Year sales, a lot of sales going on right now, the Maxi Scuff promotion all of that so this is the perfect time to buy a scuff now just let me give you a little backstory the first controller I had of course was the the um, DualShock 4 controller came with the console I was using this for a good six four months switched it out because I needed to be more professional I needed to have that professional um, competitive advantage so I switched to the scuff 4 ps pro and it was the same form factor as the dualshock 4 controller but then i decided that i need more paddles all right i got used to the two paddles on the scuff 4 ps pro so i decided i probably need to upgrade i was looking to everything so i decided to get the impact and i was kind of a bit worried buying the impact because obviously as you can see the form factors are different right so this was the one i was using at first and i was just really like worried that I couldn't hit all the buttons with my, my little average size hands but glory be to god I could hit all my buttons perfectly fine and it's definitely even uh, this is lighter than this controller right here it's weird but because I have no rumbles in this one it's lighter than the DualShock 4 and it's really good like I could hit all the buttons but before we talk about this controller let's just rewind back to when I first unboxed this controller and you guys can see my experience all right guys so I just got my scuff impact I'm gonna do like a dedicated I'm gonna play with it for a few but I just decided that I wanted to show you guys the unboxing process this is what I look like you can come in a little bit so this is the box it's a scuff impact I went with the full matte black one because Whenever I tried to customize it, it was saying that it was going to reach like January 15th or some shit like that and your boy wasn't trying to wait that long, so Alright There we go Nice packaging it's Supposed to be the matte, full matte black scuff So I have this card that says welcome to the world of scuff even though I've already been in the world of Scuff. And if you guys did know as well, Corsair bought Scuff. So that's pretty cool. Got them. <laughs> Yo. That's clean right there. But these are like. Don't need those. But damn. Um, this feels nice. Yes, this feels good. Also inside the box before you. We have the trigger here, the um, EMR key, so it could switch out the buttons to different triggers on the back. They also sent hair triggers, if you guys don't like the triggers that's on this, you could use these long ones if you want to, which I'll definitely not use, because I'm already used to the short triggers. But yeah, four pedals is going to be good for me because I already got used to two and I needed more like control when I'm using these analogs. So I have more options down here, which is great. But yeah, overall, first impressions, it feels good. Super excited to test it out. And that's what I'm going to do right now. Now, fast forward two weeks after that. And as you can see, if you look closely, you can see that rubbing on the top left of the touchpad. And that shows you that I was going crazy cranking edits with Fortnite on this controller. So I'm going to break this review up into four parts. Design, comfort performance and price so let's first talk about the design and the hardware of the device all right so design and like hardware wise there's a plethora of customization options you could do with the scuff any scuff controller you could change the colors you could change the designs you could go for pre-builds you could build it from ground up and that's the glory of using a scuff controller you could personalize it to your heart's content so design wise there's a lot of things you could do you could add grips to the back you could remove the vibration motors make it lighter and also would increase the battery life 
Next up is the form factor. So this is not like a traditional PlayStation or PS4 form factor. This is a DualShock 4 controller, which is the traditional, and this is like an Xbox style and feel, but it still has that PS4 form factor when it comes on to the analog layouts and everything. I feel like it's way more comfortable than the standard PS4 controller, which I'm surprised to be saying because I hate Xbox controls, but for some reason, it feels nice. The texture that I have on this is like this matte black finish, and it has, it just feels good in the hand. No homo, but it just feels good in the hand. The back, I didn't go for the grips because the last one, I, the last grip I had with the Scuff 4 PS Pro, it let my hand got slippery. I don't know why, my hand just started to sweat more when I had the grip on it, so that's something to consider. Now, when it comes down to cables, it still used the standard micro USB cable, and it has like this part where you could plug it in right there. You also have, I had 3.5 millimeter headphone jack placed right here, so you could go ahead and use it if you want to plug a headphone in to play. You could also use a Bluetooth with your PS4, but for me personally, I play on PC, so I definitely would want to connect it so I don't have input lag. Another question people might be asking is, can you just use the standard PS4 analog sticks with it? Yes, Scuff sent over a kit that you could use to remove the analogs if you don't like these ones. You could get different ones like a domed or a concave, stuff like that. And also, I've seen a lot of people asking if you could use a control freaks on this thing and I do not play without a control freaks so you definitely could use a control freaks and also have a discount code on control freaks if you want to but you just have to find that it's specific right so you have to find like this part that fits perfectly fine but as you can see the control freaks fit perfectly and there's no problems while using a control freaks on the standard scuff analog sticks. The next topic I want to touch on is the comfortability of this controller. Now the scuff impact is big, thick, and it's more like reminiscent of the Xbox 360 and just the regular Xbox One controller. So knowing that, I always assumed that these would be better for bigger hands, but I found it much more comfortable than the DualShock 4 that you get with a PlayStation 4 system. So the placement of the paddles on the back, which are also removable based on your user preference, it's clearly well planned, a comfortable fit that doesn't hurt my fingers within a few hours of use. And yeah, I definitely like how the, the placement of the paddles are on the impact over the 4PS Pro. It's really easy to click and it doesn't hurt like my ring finger or middle finger that I use to press the paddles. And as you can see, I'm only using three paddles. I removed one of them because I have no need for this left inner paddle right here. But if you want to, you could go ahead and install it. Now, another question I had before like purchasing, I was just trying to figure out if I could reach all the buttons. And yes, if you have like, my hands are not that big. I, I probably have big hands, I don't know, I'm 6'3" but I could reach all the buttons easily. It's super easy for me to click all the buttons. I was just worried that I couldn't hit the touchpad because when I'm playing, I'm, I always have like my finger on the touchpad here because I use the touchpad to edit on Fortnite. And yes, I could hit all my buttons perfectly fine. There's no worry about can I hit one button, can I hit this button. It's really comfortable to use and you won't have a problem if you have like a... <laughs> A fairly like large hand I don't know if it, I should say large but I have average size hands and I could hit all the buttons so don't worry next up we want to talk about the performance in game and boy oh boy this has improved my gameplay tremendously now on Fortnite if you're not playing keyboard and mouse or claw you're 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 just basically not gonna win all right it's really hard you have to put in so much effort to play the game without like having these paddles. Now with these paddles, I could keep my hands on the analog stick so I could jump shot, I could run and do other things without keeping my hand off the paddle. So normally when I'm running, I would have to, when I'm running and jumping, I'd have to take my hand off of the look analog and hit X. Now I just use the back buttons to hit, to jump. So that's just really good for like jump shots. I could crouch, I use one of the buttons to crouch as well. So I could crouch and spam my SMG. It just really improved my gameplay. Also, one of them is for trap. So I don't need to take my hand off square to, to take my hand off the analog to hit square to place a trap. I could I just have full control while moving. Those small milliseconds where you remove your hand off the analog sticks is probably gonna cost you the game. So having the ability to have full control while looking and moving around the map is a huge, huge competitive advantage. And I definitely could attest to that. Another good performance is 
the trigger stops so you could you could adjust the hair triggers to your heart's content so if you wanted to have a faster reaction time you could do that as well i didn't want to opt for the digital trigger stops because it's like a new technology and also i play other games so if you're playing a racing game and you have that digital trigger stop you won't get that full throttle and also if you're driving the boat on fortnite or cars on fortnite stuff like that you won't get that full throttle and it won't work so if you're only playing shooter games like call of duty PUBG. Rainbow Six, then probably you could look into the digital trigger stuff, but it's almost like a keyboard mouse, like a mouse click. So it's really good if you're only playing shooter games, but if you just want a universal controller, I'll definitely opt for these adjustable trigger stuffs that you could manually adjust without having that preset digital trigger stuffs. Now onto the juicy part that everyone wants to hear is, is it worth the price? So if you fully customize your impact right now, it would cost you $260, but there's a couple discount codes you could use right now to bring that down to $230 with a code called NEW30. But if you're cheap and a minimalist like me, you just go with a pre-built which only set me back $150. You still get everything except the grips on the back, a digital chap triggers, which both I did not need in the first place. Also, the custom order that I wanted would be exactly like this, but instead of black buttons would be a gold to match like my keyboard, which is a black and gold theme. So I wanted to have that gold button accents, but it, would, it wouldn't deliver until like January 4th. And also the shipping would be more, it wouldn't be free shipping, all of that. So I just decided to go with this and I've been using it for a long time and I love it. Now, if you're still on the fence and you don't know if you should buy this controller, I'd probably wait until I think January 23rd, around that time, Sony will be releasing a back button attachment that basically gives functionality like the scuff with any standard DualShock 4 controller. So you just add this attachment to the back of the controller and map it to any buttons that you'd like. But the only downfall is that it only has two buttons, all right? So you won't have like four just like this, only two buttons. But hopefully in the future, Sony adds like different options or even comes out with a better controller like an elite controller that Xbox has. So yeah, if you're in a market for a controller that would improve your gameplay, give you a competitive advantage, feels good in the hand, not too heavy, not too bulky, supports the PS4, you could play wirelessly if you want, you could play wired if you want, have full customization over the remappable options. Uh, this with EMR, EMR is a technology that allows you to just place a magnet to the back of the controller and then you could just easily map with any face buttons. You can't remap the um, triggers, which is understandable, but if we could, that would be cool. So you have four different piles on the back right here and you could map it to any front facing button that you want by just placing a magnet on the back, holding down the back paddles and then touching the front facing buttons that you would like to map. Super easy, you don't need to have a program on your computer, which I was using like the um, Astro T40. I used that for like a week and then I had to return it. It was too bulky, too heavy. But yeah, the scuff impact is definitely recommended by me. If you have any questions or I miss anything, just please let me know down below in the comments. But if you have, if you have the money, you definitely need to buy this to improve your gameplay. As always guys, love, peace, and tweaks, signing to out. You. I belong, I belong to you. Do just what you want.